Admiral's Log, May 4th, 1921. The clash in the Channel was a massive success. The Royal Navy lost 18 ships, including two battleships. We only lost one ship, a destroyer. While this was a regrettable loss, it is entirely acceptable. During the battle, the Commodore commanding the task force reported that there was one enemy light cruiser unaccounted for. I radioed back to let it escape. You see, fear is a very useful weapon. Letting this one light cruiser escape means we've gained about 350 ambassadors. 350 terrified sailors who will go back to their port disheartened and afraid. These sailors will try to drown their sorrows in pubs and at the whorehouses. They will share their war stories about the terrifying German Navy. These stories will get shared with others, getting embellished every time they get retold. By the third or fourth retelling, my ships will get portrayed as invincible warships with massive guns. Using such psychological warfare, you can gut the enemy without actually having to fight them. I don't have to fully eliminate the Royal Navy. No. I just have to break the British will to fight. The primary objective is to break the British. Forcing the British to surrender can put us in control of critical territory, such as a base in the Mediterranean. Once the British threat gets removed from the board, I can focus my attention on our other enemy, the French. While the French Navy is a capable one, it is not in any position to fight a war against the Austro-Hungarian fleet and the German fleet at the same time. And they know it. I've had our intelligence services send out dozens of French-speaking operatives. These men and women will spread whispers about how the French Navy is divided. How the French Admiralty doesn't have a plan for fighting a war on two fronts but how it's easier to just give up. It will take some time for this narrative to take hold. This is all part of my plan. Because as these operatives reduce the French morale, the French also very carefully study how my navy is destroying the Royal Navy, leading to even further wavering in the Admiralty. Now, back to the flag plot, as I've had word of another encounter between one of my task forces and a British cruiser squadron. Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Episode 5 of the Big Guns Fleet is here. We have two heavy cruisers, Turingia and Veneta, going with light cruiser München and two destroyers up against the heavy cruiser Hogue and three light cruisers. There are plenty of light cruisers and heavy cruisers around for the British, and we cannot have them all to enter the Baltic. So we're going to kick them out of the North Sea, or well, rather back into the North Sea before they make it into the Baltic. Two heavies, one light, two destroyers. One heavy, three lights. But I have the advantage, because I have the Veneta and I have the Turingia. These are really odd ships. They have very small caliber guns on the bow and stern, but their midships are 11.9ers, and then they're armed with a ton of armor. I think I can essentially park these things right next to a heavy cruiser, and with the exception of a torpedo, it wouldn't really do much. It just wouldn't really do much. Okay, I'm going to have the light cruiser and these guys work together. I want you to follow the heavy cruisers. Yes. Perfect. Let's go find the enemy. Here we go. Contact with the enemy fleet. Veneta is engaging with the 5.9s, but essentially not likely to really hit or really do damage with those things. We need the 11s. We need the 11s. We're going to slow down. Weather conditions looking very favorable. This is excellent for our ships. It's going to bolster their already good accuracy. Oh, wow. That was a 5.9 incher. Feeling some fairly good damage against their heavy cruiser. And there's the 31% chance to hit. So it misses. Ah, uh, well. Now, I am interested. What can you do against me? Jack shit. Good. That's what I like to see. Reload. 42.4 seconds. Ah, there's more. You've already been in a fight. 
haven't been fully fixed. That's the light cruiser. Let's put the 5.9s on that. And keep the 11s on the heavy cruiser. In the meanwhile, the destroyer, or the destroyers and the light cruiser are also going to make their mark on the heavy cruiser. They're going to aid with putting more fire on it, like setting fires. And that was a partial pen. This light cruiser could be a pretty easy target, considering it's already taken damage. And a ship that has been damaged is also less likely to deal a lot of damage because it has damage instability. Although it's only 0.4%. It's not that bad. This is such a weird design, but makes for such a tiny, tiny, tiny profile. Or at least, well, a tiny casemate. Oh, sorry, tiny citadel. That's the word I was looking for. There we go. That's bad news. Destroyed main tower. Your accuracy is going to suffer a lot. Light cruisers, chance to pen, none. This is not quite a pocket battleship. But it's definitely armored like one. Okay. You guys. Making life very annoying for the heavy cruiser. Flooding. Yeah, this guy should be dead pretty quick. He's getting so Oh. Oh. When I said pretty quick, I didn't mean instantly. I'll take it. Turn. We need a spotter. I didn't mean instantly, but I'll take it. Yeah, they just were put on fire a lot. Standard bulkheads. Not a bad ship. Reinforced bulkheads one. It should have been more survivable than that. They were just not able to put the fire out in time. I have to be careful because there is definitely a torpedo dodge factor here or a torpedo threat. This time around, I don't have an excuse if I get my ships torpedoed. Where's the lion? Where's your torpedo launcher, lion? Oh, speaking of, V4 launched a torp at it, which they have detected. Torpedo launcher position. Port, starboard, two on both sides. Target is a destroyer, so yeah, you can't hit that. Because you're not looking at the right angle. 42% chance to hit. He's still in smoke. That is not going to last forever, really. Really. B-15 is going to do its auto-dodge maneuver. And I kind of trust that that will work. Will work, not if the torpedo suddenly changes direction. Oh, thank god, that was a dud. My torpedo's probably not going to hit either. No, actually. One might hit. Anything? Yes! <laughs> yes, it did hit. And it did a little bit more than just hit. It did a lot of damage. Perfect. Lion should be flooding. There. Dead. Okay, then. Let's go and look for the enemy again. Lest they are running. Which would be... It would be a bit of annoying. I don't want to have to chase them down. So far, I think the big guns campaign is doing really well. I mean, this guy was shot at 964 times. Only hit 14 times. Essentially did well, barely any damage. 61. We didn't care about those levels of damage. It's not good enough. Hello. Hello, hello. Gotta give him credit. They're pretty brave for pushing in. They're also pretty dead for pushing in. Not a good plan. AP? Is that gonna go right through them? Ah, there's the other one. Yep, that's gonna go right through them. Boom. Destroy the torpedo. You have nowhere to go. Because once again, we sort of have you encircled. Boom. Full pen. Flooding. Another flooding. 
You're dead. Please end the battle. No. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. Pandora took a massive hit from the Veneta. Shit. Do a donut. Continue on your course. Turp to DD? When? Recently? If so, I need to know about it. Okay, Torpedo's harmless. Finish off the Brilliant. That's more like it. And we are going to close Pandora's box. <laughs> big guns. Big guns, big guns. Germany rules the waves. The British era of naval superiority has ended. It's just done. <laughs> like a pack of hyenas, we circle the prey. And we just rip it apart. Although I don't know many hyenas that carry 11.9 inch guns. So, yeah, that might be the exception. Come on, 3% structural. Just give in. Surrender. Care. Sink. Done. Okay, that was a nice encounter. Um, I took 714 damage, but I dished out 25k. Five more, four more German ships down. 2400 victory points. What I'm really interested in is getting the British to peace. Because I want to see if I can get some province of theirs. I lost a transport in the Eastern Med No, they lost a transport in the Eastern Mediterranean, and I lost one in the North Sea. How? Well, they got 15k power projection. Really? Oh, there's another fleet. Great. A DD? Where's your battleships then? Are they just parked? There's a battleship. Moving to the North Sea. Solo. Interesting. What's this convoy? Oh boy. That's not good. That's really not good. An enemy task force, just one lonely, very aggressive battleship, has pushed all the way to Helgoland and is engaging a convoy. And I only have one Turinja class heavy cruiser. Hmm. Well, we're just going to have to push right into that battleship and use our 11 inch guns and our maximum armor to kill it. There's very little else I can do. Here we go. The battle. Of the Prince Heinrich against the enemy battleship. The enemy battleship has taken some damage. That's a good start. It's armed with 15.3 inch guns. One triple secondary. And a couple of dual barrel two inches. Sorry, triple barrel two inches. Now, I'm glad they're facing the Prince Heinrich. Because it's the most heavily armored cruiser class that I have. I think they can't do much. <laughs> and that's... That's with 15.2 inch guns. Sorry, 15.3 even. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Here we go. We missed. The plan? Push in. Point blank range. At point blank range with 11 inch guns. I should have enough pen to kill a battleship. I'm thinking 2.5 kilometer range, 19 inches of pen. So we're going to swing the guns over to starboard. And we're going to close the distance. This is not a good matchup. And I think I could win it. Their shells seem awful slow. Look at that angle. 2.8% chance to pen. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Battleship's running away. Beautiful. I'm only hitting it with 5.9 inch guns. Come here. Coward. British stiff upper lip. Yeah, right. Go on. <laughs> okay, how much armor you got there? Formidable. Formidable, even. Ha! <laughs> Okay, 
Uh, 130%, 132% uh, quality. But 6.4 inch aft, uh, sorry, 6.4 inch, no, bloody hell. 6.1 inch four belt, 5.1 inch aft belt, 0 0.6 on superstructure. Citadel inner belt, very heavy. Hmm. Might prove difficult to pen. Might prove difficult to pen. How about HE first? Just to soften them up a little. Potentially burn down that uh, thing a bit. Superstructure. Holy, what are you shooting? I said the shells seemed slow, but... 480 meters per second? Are you using short barrels? You're using short barrels. That's it. The shells leave pretty early, relatively seen. And because of that, they don't really get a good push. So they're really slow. 12% chance to hit me, 100% chance to hit them. I'm three and a half kilometers out. Locked. Nice try, dude. You have to do better than that. Come on, 11s. Boom. Pen? What? Okay. So... 3.8. Yeah, we can probably pen their superstructure. It was their four deck. How? My shells aren't nearly that slow. I'm doing a thousand meters per second. It's a three second flight time to the target. Partial. What about a, an HE cell? Oh, sorry, AP cell though. Did that do anything? Meanwhile, Formidable is taking some damage and stability and their accuracy is dropped. <laughs> Don't fuck with these cruisers. 28 million. You? 36. You're not that much more expensive. Shoot. Damage the main gun. Eh. Not great. Not great. I think HE's the better choice. Let's try one more. Yeah. HE's the better choice. Engine damaged. Perfect. Slow down there, sir. 19 knots. Yep. Flooding! <laughs> this ship class. Probably the weirdest I've ever designed. And it's effective. That's what I like about it. It's effective. You might even go so far as to call it really efficient. Because if a heavy cruiser like this can take on a battleship, then nothing is safe. Nothing. The whole thing is on fire. I've taken 15% losses to the crew. Boom, secondary tower. Destroyed. More crew lost. Range, 4 kilometers. Destroyed another funnel. Flooding on the stern. I'm gonna win this fight. Easy. Prince Heinrich's gonna need some repairs. Not nearly as many as are formidable. You're not very formidable, sir. Very dead, though. Chance to pen. Two and a half percent. These are 15-inch guns. Which, at 5,000 meter range, less even, uh, let's say can, they can pen about 27 inches of armor. Bad news for them, I have more than 27 inches of armor on the main belt. So, because of that, the game goes, well, I'm just going to fire high explosive. Derp a derp. And it's, it's kind of working. I've taken some damage, sure. I've taken some fires, yes. Not nearly as much as this guy, though. It's down to nine knots. Two engines out, rudders out. You seem to be listing to starboard pretty bad. Close the distance. Make high explosive even more deadly. Range, 2.1. I 
I can pen 12 inches of armor with high explosive. Which means bow and stern are now fair game. Like that. Just like that. And you? You still can't pen me. Phew. Turinja. Or the Turinja class. Doesn't take shit from anything. And I think that these battle... Sorry, these heavy cruisers can probably be effective for quite a long time. Look at that! Job done. Battleship dead. Damage taken, 718. Damage done, 7100. Bye-bye. Just like that. Here we go. This is what I wanted. I want a peace treaty. I want to see what the British can give me. Agree. I don't know if that mechanic works yet. So, let's test. Peace treaty signed between the German and British Empire. That means I'm just at war with the French right now. Ah, yes, 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 yes. The war is over. German Empire and British Empire negotiate peace. War duration? Six months. Minor victory? What? I beg to differ. Um, I have... Yeah, they can give me both Malta and Gibraltar. Yes, please. I don't care about your shitty ships. I'll take another 10 million off of you, please. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> there we go. The Italian Empire is showing true interest in supporting us with all diplomatic means. Cool. Ah, new shells. So this is now mine. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. I can park a battleship here, maybe two, and essentially shut down access between the French fleets. The French Mediterranean fleet is not going to be able to traverse over to the North Atlantic anymore. And they also gave me Malta. <laughs> here. Porta Valletta. Oh, man. <laughs> mine, 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 mine. Beautiful. So that was a very quick war against the British. The British know who's who. The British know what's what. And their economy probably took a hit. 134 million GDP. Minus 57. My growth is 15%. 17.8% for the Italians. That's still pretty outrageous. Okay, what else are we researching? Turret mechanisms. Yes. Improved triple turrets. They become more reliable. Decreasing their reload time. Increasing traverse and accuracy. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, what else? I have the new shell type. I just got that. That was the super heavy shell. Uh, improved APCBC. Sorry, APBC. And I am working on new big guns. The Mark IV 10 inches. That's cute, but that's not really something I'm interested in. Let's continue. A few months later, masses of dissatisfied pacifists protest and block the roads. What do you propose to do? Use a strong police force to disperse the crowd. It's going to cost me 108 million, which is, uh, well, it's less than 10% because I have 1.2 billion. 10 million, or sorry, 108 million is essentially two months of savings. It's going to cost some naval prestige, cause some unrest, and reduce relationship with the Italians. Or... Um, I can make an official statement that the government will offer financial aid to the needy. For half a billion, it's going to improve relationships with the Italians, which I currently don't care about, and it's going to further improve my naval prestige. I don't care. I'm going to disperse the crowd. We now have the access to the new 2200-ton destroyer. That's nice. Oh shit, I'm losing ships in the Western Med. The damn French have a power projection there. Uh, I am also working on power projection in the North Atlantic here, because I have my fleet here. It's three battleships, it's the König Wilhelm, a couple of heavy cruisers, some destroyers. I am very interested in completely blocking off their ability to send ships back and forth, so I'm going to park them next to Gibraltar. That's going to be their new destination. As for those destroyers, let's have a look, because I'm not very much in love with my current destroyer design. They do okay. I think they can do better. Uh, that would be the destroyer 3. 1800 tons. Yeah, I need a destroyer hull. 
It's nice that I can upgrade them now to 2200 tons. It's I just need to destroy her hull. So no joy on the ship construction, sadly. We need more research done. Carry on. A little while later, we have a very interesting development. The French and the Italians are now clashing. I'm not sure why the French think this is a good idea. The French already have a battle going with me right now. They have a war going with Austria-Hungary. And I just took Gibraltar, splitting the French fleet in two. I don't know how they're planning on winning all these encounters. Now we're going to have our first look at the French battleships here. This is the Danton and the Gascon. Um, no one shoots like Gascon apparently. Because we have a couple of 8 14 inches, 10 6.1s, 36 5.1s. Holy crap. What are you sacrificing? It's a big ship. It's 36,000 tons. What are you sacrificing? Do you have no armor? Perhaps. That might be it. Many bulkheads. They're not fast, 23 knots, but it's not that bad. Mine are 26, 21. What are you sacrificing? I think it's armor. I also got a ton of crew aboard, by the way. 2,000. Okay, also heavy cruisers Condé and Je A couple of six inches. These are speed bumps, if that. Because... They're just packing 6-inch guns, 4 torpedo tubes, and they got 19 knot speed. Light cruiser Forfait and Trude, um, 20 knots, 5.3-inch guns, torpedo launchers. Easy, especially considering I have two battleships and two battles, three, three battle cruisers, in fact, as well as a whole slew of escorts. Let's go. And there we go. A French battleship has been spotted. 17 kilometers away, so instantly everything opens up. Maybe with the exception of the destroyers. Everything opens up on this guy. That's a lot of guns. Interestingly, they haven't spotted me. So I have a temporary advantage, and I will gladly use that. Battlecruisers Saxon, Friedrich der Grosse and Mars are in one division. I'm going to tell them to turn to broadside. And same for Kaiser and Hagen. Hagen is one of our double barrels. I believe the Kaiser is not. The Kaiser is the budget battleship with the secondary, or sorry, the single barrels. Okay, so there we are. Destroyers coming to starboard. Heavy cruisers. I'm going to try to shield as much as possible, but the battle cruisers are just far faster. We're taking some damage to the main guns. I don't know what my chance to pen is yet, until we have this guy identified. More damage to the main gun. Fires. Okay, so something got blocked. Damage to the main tower. Yeah, we got such overwhelming firepower that this battle cruiser, sorry, this battleship, is going to go down pretty quick. I just have to be a bit careful not to rush my battle cruisers into secondary range. That would be potentially disastrous. So let's not. Uh, people, people, pay attention. We're going to focus on the capital ships. We're not going to focus on the small ships. The small ships are secondaries. That's what we shoot the secondaries at, right? Heavy cruisers. I need you to start pushing in a bit more aggressively. We've got our light cruiser group over there. The battleships are fleeing to that direction. So let's say west. Uh, light crews are going to cut across, and the DDs are just going to slug these guys with a lot of HE. DD builds, I got two different classes. I got these guys with five single 5.9 inch guns. I believe that we also have a different type. Just where? No, it's not the 6. It's the V2. Here we go. These guys have um, four. Four duels, so that we have all oh, two duels and one single, as well as a triple launcher, and the other ones just have single launchers. All right, this light cruiser is taking a lot of fire, a lot of damage, thirteen hundred damage. That was an eight point nine inch that exploded a torpedo aboard the light cruiser. In the meanwhile, the battleships are also taking a fairly hefty treatment. 
Now, with all these new technological breakthroughs that I've been making, I think it is going to be just about time to start overhauling our ships. Refitting the battleships. I've already done so with the smaller ships, the light cruisers. The battle script, oh, sorry, the battleships and the battle cruisers still deserve a bit of love, a bit of tuning. And I think we can make that happen. Now, this is going to be the target for the DD's torpedo. Destroy the secondary gun, damage the main tower. Your torpedo can hit out to 9.1. I'm not even sure they can see the destroyer. Heavy cruisers, what are you currently shooting? What type are you? Prince Eugen, Saxony, Hansa, Limburg. Oh, they're all the same. They're all the same class. That's convenient. It means I don't have to figure out who's who. Focus on a kill. That's the objective. That was the main gun. Okay, what do you have? 0 0.2 inch of superstructure, 3.8 on the fore and aft belt. Zero armor on your three inchers. Zero, well, little armor on your four inchers. As I expected, the 19 inch, oh, sorry, the 14 inch turrets are the heavily, most heavily armored part of the ship. They are where all the armor is. Still finding this battleship. Yeah, this guy's probably gonna flood. You torpedoed the battle cruiser though, that's problematic. Sets torpedo dodge mode. Heavy cruiser, starboard turn. What are you? Ah, the Trud. It's one of those cheap ass light cruisers. Look at that. Four million? That's just dirt cheap. Stop dodging our friendlies. Because we got something bigger in the water. And light cruisers generally don't respond very well to getting hit by a torpedo. This is going to be problematic. Lest it's a dud. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so the torpedo didn't catch me. Didn't go off. Interesting. Very interesting. Not exactly sure why. It just didn't go off. Good. The battleship. What are we shooting? The Danton? Gascon. Okay, fine. Destroyers are doing their encircle maneuver. I heard a bonk. That was a torpedo hit. No. Unless it was a dud. No. Ooh. Bremse. You better GTFO, because this is not good. Retreat. Smoke. Light cruisers. Smoke. This way the heavy cruisers can kind of benefit from this whole ordeal. In the smoke screen. Heavy cruiser, yes, the heavy cruiser can, in some circumstances, pen the battleship. That's good. It's just that these battleships are packed to the gills with secondaries. And will probably, despite the pretty decent armor I have on these ships, still pose quite a threat. I feel my battle cruisers and battleships are too far away. I'm going to push these guys in a bit more. It is. I don't really want to risk the DDs that much. Because I'm concerned that they're just going to get themselves a lot of attention from these battleships. And start dying. Which would be bad. Prince Eugen took some damage and is falling back in the formation. Yeah, this ship is taking a lot of fire. It's because Gascon... And probably Danton as well. Are firing everything they have at this heavy cruiser. Yeah, that's not good. Torpedo in the water as well. Here, here. Start your torpedo dodging. Battle cruisers. Really good news. Ooh, that was a great hit on the Condé. What was that? 
primary, right? Yeah, it was an 11.9 inch hit. Oh, they're one big target. This is not a good way to maneuver your battleships. Really not a good way to maneuver your battleships around. If I hit one, I might hit the other with a through and through. If I don't hit the one, I might just hit the other. Bad plan. Oh shit, Hans is starting to flood. Did you take a torp? No, just a general pen. From everything. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna have to pull the Hansa off of the line. I don't like this thing getting killed. Not when it's entirely preventable. Battlecruiser starts slugging HE because these Frenchies are a bit more heavily armored than I was originally hoping. And this high explosive should make these very crispy baguettes very quickly. Destroyed main tower. There goes your damage control. There goes your damage control. That's what you get for not armoring your superstructure. Destroyers. Can you kill this? No. How? Oh. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. That's pretty heavily armored. So, we're just going to have to hit you with a lot of high explosive. And we will. Heavy cruisers are both in tatters. My heavy cruisers are not doing that much better. The Oigan needs to get out of here. And we'll probably spend a lot of time recuperating. Medusa, that is Nuremberg turn. It's only Saxony and Limburg now. These battleships need to go. They're big threats. Price tag? 56 million. That's pretty expensive. My battlecruiser is still more expensive, but then again, everything's more expensive than my... Or well, my battlecruiser is more expensive than everything else. Overpen? With an 11-inch. Oh, this is not good. Now we're presenting ourselves as one massive target. Uh, no, 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 no. Retreat, with the exception of Limburg. Come on. Kill it with fire. The DDs <laughs> are doing it. <laughs> These are such nasty little ships. 1.1k damage. 700, 700, 800, 400, 500, 600, almost 700. You just keep hitting this thing enough. It might not succumb to fire, it's just going to lose all its structural integrity. At least the capital ships are fine. Battle cruisers are still in perfect working condition, the battleships too. Hagen is lagging behind a lot though. Oh no. Eugen. We're going to have to kill these things quick now, because the Eugen might not survive otherwise. Shit. Not quick enough, huh? Ship is flooding. Many bulkheads, yeah. Get the Hansa out of here. The forfait is done. That's good. That was the that was the DDs. Just the DDs killing that. You guys circle around the destroyers. Uh yeah, just pepper the Danton with high explosive. Yeah, they're gonna hate that. That's a lot of fires that they have to stop. Bremse, smoke up, because you can. One point seven percent chance to hit. These things are very heavily armored. Much, much more than I was expecting. Split. The Hagen somehow has this bug still where it just refuses to speed up. And they should be speeding them because they're in tight formation. At least that's what I ordered. Gascon. Flooding. Danton almost entirely on fire. 33% losses. Gascon on 30. 
round it up. 34. Are you shooting? Oh, your secondaries are going after these heavy cruisers. Fine. Oh, we got a torpedo hit! Destroyers coming through. End battle. I don't think so. I'm gonna end the war with the French. I'm gonna take some province off of them. Come on, Danton. 36% lost. I'm gonna get too close to these heavy cruisers because they'll torp me. Never mind, it blew up. Okay, that's one down. Next is the a very badly damaged Gascon. They definitely dished it out. 6.6k. These things really did a lot of damage. 6,000 of that was with their 14 inches. Yeah, these things are no joke. These things are dangerous. Dead. Second battleship eliminated. The destroyer from Hell Division comes in again. 3,000 damage. 1,600, 1,600, 1,500. It's the destroyers over the long run that will kill you. Je m'appelle completely surrounded yet again. Sounded like something bad happened. So we got hit by a torp? Yeah, just now. Yep, never mind. French are done. French fleet exists no more. They will have gotten some victory points there. 3,382 for sinking the Prince Eugen and badly damaging some other ships. Those can be repaired. These cannot. These cannot. And I'm really interested to see how the French are going to perform in this war. Because they got so much else that they need to worry about. Ooh, a 1v1. Fight me. Fight me. Mortal. Let's have a look. 1DD. Let's go get it. Here we go. Short range encounter, because DDs generally tend to spot each other at point blank range. And slow down. I have the bigger guns. They potentially have the better rate of fire. What are they packing? Two 5.5s, a bunch of 2.1s. I don't think the 2.1s are going to be that dangerous. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. I don't think they're going to be that dangerous. Um, it's the 5 inchers that I'm worried about a bit more. Although, under this angle, they're probably going to start to ricochet pretty quick. An issue that I have, however, is that I'm moving so fast. I'm <laughs> I'm surfing through the water so hard, sorry, drifting, that my turrets cannot keep up with the turret rotation. No, with the ship rotation. Maintain your turn. Ooh. <laughs> Good hit. Not sure exactly why we're firing armor piercing. Nice try. Come on. Chance to pen, 6%? What are you packing? Oh, you got a lot of armor. Alright. First high explosive. Chance to pen. High explosive, 2.5 kilometer range, 4.1 inch. That's more than you have. <clears throat> and uh, I don't care about your angled armor. I really don't. I just care about your smoke screen. That's annoying. Partial, partial. Nope. Oh. No, we're fine. Complete the turn. I'm not sure where my guns are pointing this moment. Oh, still over starboard. That's good. Still over starboard. Re-engage. Go on. Shoot the shit out of him. Hello? Engine damage. Partial. Go to armor piercing. Their angle is terrible. Ugh. Oh. Come on. Ow! 
Destroyed main gun. Flooding. This thing better flood out quick. Because if it hits me with a torpedo, I'm going to have a massive problem. Overpen. Smoke up. Flooding. Kill it. 1700 damage. You're dead. Done. Okay, that took me a bit of damage. And it got a little exciting there when the torpedo approach was so close. But hey-ho, we got him. Job done. So, 600 victory points there. I think that's a lot for a destroyer. But okay, if the game wants to give me that, I'll happily take it. So, where's my fleet? It's not... <laughs> it's not going towards Gibraltar. No, wait, it is. Oh, they're all sitting here. No, 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 no. Present yourselves as a blockade. That's the plan. Present yourselves as a blockade. Western Mediterranean? The French have no presence. Nothing. They do have 13 battleships versus my 7. That's not great. I am building 9 new battleships. It's just going to take me another, well, over a year before they're finished. So the best thing I can do is try to maintain my presence in the North Sea and uh, just build another big fleet there. Form up with a big fleet and start taking these guys down one by one. And if they do come in with a massive fleet, I might be forced to relocate, aka run. This guy's there. I got no further battleships currently docked, right? At sea, at sea, repairing. No, everybody's at sea. Excellent. Okay, um, well, I think that's a pretty good score for today. Pretty nice getting Gibraltar. Pretty nice getting Valletta over there on Malta. Hope you guys are enjoying the campaign. I am looking forward to more big guns, and I hope you guys will join me for the next one up in a few days. Thanks for watching. See you then.